try to find what you love and just hold on to it and see where it'll take you. Lots of people say that I'm really good at climbing, but I don't think there's a certain point where you're actually good, and there's no point where you're bad. You're just doing something. Like, I might be really good for some people, but for some other people, I'm not as good. Hi, I'm Sayla. You probably know me because I'm the youngest person to climb El Capitan. That, that's your first happy cry? Yeah. Yeah. I just can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Big climb. Yeah. Lots of people will ask, like, what did you feel when you were on top? What was it like when you finished El Cap? But what's way more important in these experiences is not that you finish them, but that you have a good time while you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Woo! Joy and I fell in love on El Cap uh, about 15 years ago, and so El Cap's a big part of our family story. So Sayla really developed a great interest in climbing El Cap. Yeah, it was a dream that she had, and a dream that Mike had, and a dream that I had, and once those dreams came to together, it became a communal goal that we got to pursue as a family. And I think with any parent, like, you have dreams for what you want to do with your kids and how you want to share your passions and your loves with your kids and to share climbing with our kids has always been really special. I was thinking that uh, maybe we should use a shorter rope so that you don't have as much rope that you have to handle uh, at the yeah. life, don't you think? Uh -huh. The journey is a route that I established uh, three years ago. I got to do the first ascent of it, the first climb of it with Sayla. So that was really special to get to do that with Sayla. And so that's, that's a climb that we're gonna do today. The first time Sayla climbed it was 2016, so it was three years ago, so she would've been seven. And at the time, she hadn't even started leading yet. The leader is the person that ascends the rock first from the anchor and places the safety gear as they go. So there is risk of falling as a leader. Now, not falling to your death or anything like that, but falling twice the distance of your last piece of gear. I think Sayla's goal is to continue to improve as a climber. There's different difficulties of climbing that she wants to continue to strive for. I made up the goal that I wanted to lean my age. Now, this year, my goal was to leap 510. When I climb, I feel very in the moment. Nice. Hey. Left or right? Uh, right. Go hard right. There's some big holds out right, Sayla. I really just like being in the nature, feeling the air around me, the view. It's just always been so magical. Of course, I love rock climbing, and I do it all the time, but I also like a lot of other things. On a normal school day, I'll get on the bus, go to school. I like school a lot, so <laughs> I have a good time. Then I'll just play around the house, play in the backyard, jump on the trampoline. I'll go on my very small zip line that my dad made in the backyard, and we have some swings that we'll play in. We like to play in the treehouse a lot. Sayla's the oldest of four. She's famous for organizing play, and creating games that her younger siblings follow her on. Move! I usually read in bed at night and in the morning with a headlamp. So in many ways, she's just a very normal kid. I never really decided that I wanted to be good at climbing. I more just wanted to be good for myself. So if I felt like I was not being challenged in climbing, I would come up with some goals so that I could challenge myself in climbing, and it just kind of grew. A lot of the time when I'm frustrated, I'm only four foot four, so as you can imagine, I'm stretched all the way out and I still can't reach it. The hardest part of this climb was uh, uh, the crux. My dad said it was gonna be really reaching, 
He was right. Nice job. Next year, we're gonna go on a big road trip. I might actually go and do Half Dome with my parents. That'd be super duper fun. For me as a father, I've always been really conscious of the fact that I have three daughters growing up in a world where I want them to be strong and leaders. And I've always told them that like, you never let anyone tell you that you can't do something. The fact that she is a girl, I think is pretty cool. It's nice to not have that qualifier of youngest female Ascent of El Cap. Youngest Ascent of El Cap, I thought, was pretty neat. And you don't always see little girls out there being encouraged to be strong and have grit and determination and endurance. And I love that she is inspirational in that way. Here it is. Let's see if we can find my name. Oh, look, I have, this, I have that same sticker on my, in my bed. You do? You have it in your bed? That's cool. I think I'm a groundbreaking girl because I really have a passion for something. And you don't see that in a lot of 10 year olds, you don't see that in a lot of people. May you find peace, happiness, and love on this climb and our grand journey through life. And then my dad wrote, First ascent to the journey. Sailor Schneider, 10 years old, 8 30 19. FA with my dad, now I let it all. You should write something more. Mm. It's great coming back to a climb with my daughter. I'm just trying to set goals and just trying to keep climbing and keep doing what I love. <laughs>